Welcome back. Let's bring you this story now. Former Kaza Chiefs and Orlando Pirates footballer Mark Bachelor will be laid to rest today. His funeral expected to take place at the Crossing Church in Midrand. Bachelor, you'll remember, was gunned down last week outside his Olivedale home in northern Johannesburg. ENCA's Ronald Masinga is following this story and he joins us live from outside the church. Ronald, good morning to you. Before we get into the details or the program of the funeral. Uh, talk to us about whether there is any latest information from the police about Mark Bachelor's murder. Uh, there was speculation in the papers at the weekend that he may have died of uh, some drug war. Mm. Good morning to you, Tolly. Well, plenty of speculation, of course, in the media around, surrounding Mark Bachelor's passing. But when I spoke to the spokesperson earlier of the SAPS, Lungelo Dlamini, Colonel Lungelo Dlamini, he did confirm to me that no arrests have been made as of yet and that the case is still being investigated. Of course, one of those speculations was an arrest that was made of an investigative officer uh, who was at the scene, apparently he took the phone of Mark Batchelor and having deleted all the information or the pertinent information around the case. So that case has since been thrown out of court. There's no details surrounding more on that particular matter. But just to go briefly into the program, Tolim Gambi, the, the actual funeral starts at around 12 o'clock with the body of Mark Batchelor scheduled to arrive here at this church at around 11.30. Having spoken to the family spokesperson, she gave us permission to speak to whoever we can speak to here except, of, except one of the persons who was involved or was at uh, the scene of that crime, the gardener, the person who was sitting next to Mark Batchelor uh, during that uh, shooting because of a fear of the fear that he might still have and the shock that he might still experience. But uh, that is as far as uh, the information we have at the moment. Yeah, Ronald, talk to us about uh, uh, the reaction that came immediately after uh, the death of Mark Batchelor was announced. Uh, for fellow players uh, who would have uh, been with him on the field of play reacting to that, uh, m some of those people expected there surely today to say goodbye to him. Indeed, one of the speakers uh, at, this to at today's program will be Edward Mutale, a player who celebrated a lot with Mark Batchelor, especially during their times at Orlando Pirates, where they famously won the 1995 CAF Champions League. One of the speakers will be Mark Williams, a player who was a superstar during he the time of the 1996 Africa Cup of Nations. So those are just some of the speakers. And, of course, the South African footballing fraternity in shock but Koli uh, Mark Bachelor seemed to be a person who lived a double life after his uh, career spanning 13 years as a professional footballer. Rumor surface of him being involved in the criminal underworld, and which eventually many saying that it led to his passing. Uh, this suspects that uh, people suspect that he's. He may have stole drugs from a syndicate around in Johannesburg, but those are all the issues that are still under investigation. Nothing confirmed as you have yet, but of course, Mark Batchelor, not new to controversy, Colin Gambi. After his footballing career, he also became a football pundit, and back in 2007, it happened that he was fired by Supersport uh, following a brawl that Mark Batchelor was allegedly involved in back in those years. So lots of things said about him, especially after his passing, people saying that, you know, this is not the Mark Batchelor we knew during his glory days as a footballer. We played for the likes of Orlando Pirates, as I mentioned, Kaiser Chiefs, Mamelodi Sundowns. Morocco Swallows, Supersport United, even Pitvest Fitz, a uh, highly decorated player during his career. And these things that just people keep talking about now, it just comes as a shock to many who knew him during uh, his football career. Ronald Masinda, thank you very much for that update. Uh, his life for us uh, outside the Crossing Church in Midrand. That's